Oshogo groves in particular has remained more or less pristine. When I have been to the groves, I feel a sense of peace. And then out of nowhere, you see these majestic, beautiful sculptures and you just stand there totally stupefied. And it is like, I, I feel a sense of elevated being. And you just commune with nature, with whatever you perceive God to be. These artworks were created uh, by Susan Wenger, a, an Austrian artist who lived uh, in Nigeria, made Nigeria home, but working with local artists from Oshobo. And together, they created this magnificent interpretation of Yoruba heritage and folklore. She fell in love with Oshobo. She said some of the spirit in the forest talked to her that this is how she should put a sculptor here and a sculptor there. And it's her work that we are following the footsteps. Oshobo, in a way, has become a rallying point for artists because it, it, it's also like the Oshobo School as well. An informal uh, space, you know, where knowledge has been transferred over a generation. This group, which I think was about 20 that we selected, are now going to go on and begin to think about how they can then use that in their practice. And they all come from varied backgrounds. They've all learned so much in the last couple of days, to which they're now going to transfer. And I'm just very excited to see what the future holds. From this work, many more people will get to enjoy and experience the groups without having to go there, okay, which we would not be able to do without this kind of collaboration. If we can begin to use these technologies constructively uh, to archive, to document, at a higher level become part of the conversation uh, and we begin to look at our traditional practices, not like inferior to the rest of the world, but as something that also can be at par. You know, we cannot have a future without the past. One of the ways of pre preserving our memory is through our cultural heritage and through all the practices. That's the only way we can actually make a difference in the future. And what I hope that the younger people would see is that they belong to a race with a proud heritage. You know, there's something to celebrate about our past, but more importantly, to preserve these artworks and to hand it over to the coming generation.